Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. So glad to be here. Wow, look at this place. Thank you. So cool. First of all, thank you for having me. Yeah. Second of all, what are we making today? We're making lo mai kai today. Lo mai kai is a dim sum dumpling. Okay. Have you had dim sum? Oh, I love dim sum. Of course. Yeah. And so this is like, this is the uh, lotus leaf wrapped lo mai gai, which okay. lo mai means sticky rice and gai means chicken. So it's like sticky rice and chicken. Let's um, get cooking. Yeah. But before we get started, I have a gift for you. Okay. On behalf of me and Food with Oh, thank you. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. Oh, cool. Okay. So I appreciate color yeah. very much, in case you couldn't tell. So I'm going to let you pick one of your favorite Food 52 aprons. Which color? I've worn gray in the previous episode, the multiverse of Food 52. Yeah. Um, people love you on Food 52. <laughs> I know, these third, you people, 25 minutes watching me scramble eggs for 10 seconds is totally ridiculous. I walked in today knowing I was going to learn so much in the time that I'm here, <sighs> and I'm so excited about um, it. I, let's go with green then. Green, If okay. I've shot in gray before. Put it on, let's go. Okay, the th cool thing about wrapping stuff in leaves is that the leaf, the leaves are supposed to perfume whatever's inside. They also are a convenient vessel for, 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 for seeming and doing things in large batches. This is a little labor intensive and it's not really like... I'm not afraid of that. I, I kind of am. Like, I don't, well, don't I'm, I'm, I love an arts and crafts moment. So. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> gonna be a little bit of wrapping. And Perfect. My, sp my sparkles. Wait, so what are the flavor notes of a lotus leaf? Like so, what are we getting in? Here, let me the... show you. So lotus leaves are huge. Um, when you buy them from the supermarket, you're gonna get them um, uh, wow. It's the entire leaf. Yeah. It's the whole thing. So that's just half of it. If you were to open it up, you'll see the picture of the lotus. lotus in the wild. They sit on these ponds, these lakes. Oh, yeah, the ponds. They go up. Oh They're gosh. huge. These whole lotus leaves, um, in order for us to prep them, we have to soak them for at least okay. two hours. Anyway, so the first things first is we have to cook the rice. Oh, there are yes. two main types of sticky rice, long grain, short grain. This is a short grain. And the northeast of China produces the best rice ever. In short, the reason is because... Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, she's got jokes. Okay. <laughs> the reason is because the rice that's in the northeast is only harvested once a year as opposed to twice, usually, which is to say that the same amount of nutrients in the land goes into one harvest, oh, yeah. and so the rice itself, this is the theory, is, is a little bit more like perfumey Two and delicious and exactly wow. and therefore flavor. And you use a rice cooker. Rice cooker because I am I have never made rice in a pot before. Yeah. I've been a professional chef and a professional Chinese person for 29 years <laughs> and I still have never successfully made rice in a pot. Do you have to get like a degree to be professionally Chinese? I, 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 I think, I think <laughs> it comes, it, it's one of those gifts that, natural. yeah. So here's a rice cooker. Let's marinate the chicken, um, which wow. you can help me do. Yes. So please. here's chicken, uh, chicken thigh. We cut it into skinless, boneless. We cut it into like half inch chunks. Okay. Let's go soy sauce in there. Okay. Light soy sauce. This is oyster sauce. This is very thick. Yeah. Are you okay with getting your hands dirty? Uh, I'm obsessed with it. Yeah. Okay, go for it. Just can get, get it? all of that in there. And then okay. this is a little bit of rice wine. Okay. And then a dash of okay. white pepper. Oh, I and love white pepper. Okay. White pepper, because it's fermented, is yes. extra delicious. Okay, so just squeeze that now. Okay. Um, so Chinese, Asian, um, meat marinade, you like you can squeeze oh. it, you can really get in there. So the idea is like, you're really just like getting the flavors into the chicken. It seems anti, um, I grew up in kitchens <laughs> where the people are like- The already dead, so yeah. don't worry about the animal. <laughs> people are like, don't oh, don't, ha don't handle the meat like so rough because you're gonna screw up the texture. Like but, it's you gonna know, not be tender. I yeah, but we're, we're stewing it. So this yeah, is part of the tenderization process. Apart, right? Let's let that marinate for a little while okay. and then we're gonna start building our sauce. Let's chop a shallot. Chop a shallot. Please. Okay. Any notes? Or do you um, trust me? That's probably not how I would start, but. Great. <laughs> that's my first note. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we're here for. Yeah. You would go uh, long I ways? I would go, no, I'm just the, I would keep the end on, and then um, take I chopped the it like an layer. onion, which yeah. it is. I just like is... to keep the end on so that the you whole can... thing can, uh, so that you can keep, <laughs> I'm gonna slowly keep talking. So that I can just finish the task. Yeah, I'm just no, I get it. I've already been removed from the process. <laughs> that was quick. So rude. I Record am the worst. timing. No, okay. it's fine. There's no wrong way to uh, um, treat me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there are wrong ways to <laughs> chop shallots, though. There's wrong ways to chop, is what you said. Yeah. Yeah. I just learned that. Um, and if you mess it up like this, um, then you can always just go through just the go end because it's going yeah. into a brace. So we're gonna bring all of these flavors together. Cool. Um, again, it's a classic pork and shrimp combo, huge all over the world, just land and sea. Mm -hmm. A little bit of chicken. The pork is in two forms. First, the pork belly and then the sausage. Okay. 
Okay. Pork belly is okay. gonna go in. We're just rendering out some of the fat. This pork belly step, by the way, is probably the least traditional part of um, this, my version of the lo mai guy. Yeah. I just like the little chewy bites of pork, of real pork, on top of the chicken inside of the... It gives it some texture. Yeah. So some of that fat's starting to come out, and then put about half of the sausage in. Mm. So you see that fat is... Yeah. Translucent. Coming out. We're gonna put the ginger in here. And let's put some shallots in there. Okay. Let's get served. I want lots of notes. And um, we're gonna put a couple of slices of dried shiitake mushrooms in there. It's dried to concentrate the flavor, rehydrated so it's sliceable and cookable. And we're just gonna cook this until you can start How smelling long everything coming through. Did you rehydrate them for? Um, overnight, but okay. at least an hour, I wanna say. Okay. And then here are these beautiful dry shrimps. They definitely have red 40 in them, which makes them so pretty. They usually are a little That's bit more dye. pale. Um, that is dye. That's dye. <laughs> Um, hey, little guys, so you did not rehydrate these? Uh, they did, I did, I did. Oh, you and did? squeeze water out of it. That's yep. what they look like rehydrated. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. And once everything's sort of like working together, you're gonna push that to the side a little bit. Okay. So the chicken's gonna go in, all of that chicken. Okay. Scoop it in. Got it. And we're keeping it over here. Yeah. Let's not move it too much. We're gonna move oh, okay. it to the side a little. Crank the heat up and let's get a little bit of color on there. Yeah, so it browns yeah. and then we'll move it. Yeah. I gotcha. Yeah. The sauce? Sauce. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. Pre-mixed. So this liquid is actually mostly water. Mm -hmm. A little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of oyster sauce, salt and sugar. Mm -hmm. Balanced between those seafood oyster flavors and um, the soy sauce. And then cornstarch. And this is potato starch. Oh, potato is what, starch. what I prefer to use. Um, okay. Cornstarch is good too. So equal parts potato starch and water. We're gonna use this to thicken it. Yeah, so you mean like a little slurry? Yeah. Cool. We haven't talked about these. Too oh, soon? Yes, these, so salted egg yolks. These are salted duck egg yolks that you can get from Chinatown. They're just cured in salt and sugar. So now that the chicken has picked up a bit of color, um, the Chinese term for this is duan sheng, which is um, this rawness is cut off. Okay. It's a literal translation. So it's not cooked cooked, but it is yeah, no longer raw on the outside. It's gonna keep cooking inside yep. when you see that. Well, it's about time to the introduce sauce? the sauce. Can if I you could pour that? that in there for me, that'd be great. Give me like half of it first. Okay. Yep. Cool. I nailed it. Let it come together. <laughs> and then the rest of it. There you go. Cool. Okay. Now, just let this come together. You keep a very tidy kitchen. <laughs> Thank you. I'm learning. It's very <laughs> impressive. I'm waiting for everything to boil so we know that it's at 212. And then we're going to thicken it with a slurry. This also right now is looking a little pale. Color uh, in Chinese cooking is important. So we're going to um, darken it with uh, dark soy sauce. It's supposed to give it a little bit of gloss, a little bit more shine. Love a gloss. It's like why we add pasta water to exactly. things. Um, and speaking of pasta water, that's why we're going to thicken it right about this time. Hey. Potato starch slurry. Yes. Um, mix it up. We're going to add it in. Stand, were you comparing stand. that to pasta water? Is that yeah, you were, same thing. Yeah, it yeah, thickens, similar. but it has a, a, it's got more thickening power than just like flour water, which Absolutely. is what pasta water is. Yeah, but yeah. you can see that it's... It's already so thick. Yeah. What you want to see is that it's glossy, right? Yes, it's got a great shine. It's got a great shine. It's all natural. There's no oil in there, right? Oil actually changes the texture. Drop the skincare routine. <laughs> put this on your face. <laughs> so after it's cooked, make sure you let it sit for 15 minutes so that it chills a little bit. And we're going to give it about a tablespoon of soy sauce. And this is donggu, which is slightly darker than regular light soy sauce, but not quite as dark as dark. Can I stir? Yeah, please. Thanks. So fold it kind of gently. Okay. At an angle. Um, Fold at an angle. So, have you seen um, uh, Japanese sushi masters do a thing that you're not doing right now? Um, they... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, read me. <laughs> we're, not, we're not trying... I have it. Let's... <laughs> we're not trying to destroy the grains, so at an angle, at a 45 Thank degree you. angle, we're just like kind of paddling it, you know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sure, sure. Let's keep doing that. You're doing a good job. <laughs> Gorgeous. Lotus leaves, um, after they've been soaked for two hours or so, and we cut the stem off yes. here, mm -hmm. we cut it 
into four, mm -hmm. and you'll get pieces that look like this, and you'll also see that the color is a little bit darker, darker yeah. and it's starting to be a little bit more malleable. Yeah, it's pliable, yeah. The easiest way to blanch it is to just pour boiling hot water over it Ooh. in the sink or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, Back to the water for these. <laughs> for the lotus leaves. <laughs> the lotus leaves. <laughs> the circle of life. Okay, I'm gonna drain this off. Cool. All right. It's a little warm, but we can start. One leaf this mm -hmm. way, and then the other leaf, the other triangle. The base is gonna two leaves per yep, dumpling. Two leaves per per dumpling. per dumpling. We're gonna grab about a quarter here. You can dip your fingers in water if it helps. We're gonna try to make it into a neat small bottom. A generous tablespoon. What a beautiful bed. And then Whenever I grew up eating this, my favorite part was always this super sweet, delicious sausage. Yeah. So just one piece in the middle so that when just one. the kid digs into it, they'll like find that one piece. Obviously there's a cooked one there too. Oh yeah, yeah. But this one for sure. There. And then just the mushroom in there also. It's like Beautiful. a whole mushroom. This oh. is just gonna go over the top like this. That's amazing. Seal it in so that when you eat it, you're cracking it open in the, yeah, yeah. In the center. The sides go in first, tuck it in. The stickiness of the rice should help hold it. Mm -hmm. You're almost, you want to get it tight, but you don't need it to, you want to stretch it too much because you want to break it. Is this thing going to hold itself or are we going to like tie it up? Um, this thing will hold itself because okay, cool. um, all we're doing here is we're going to fold it over it. And then like a neat little parcel. And then this side also like this. Beautiful. And then it's just going to steam kind of this write way. Just my name on that yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. 20 minutes. Medium. 20 minutes. Okay. So Lucas. As the Loma guy is steaming Loma guy gently. Steaming, you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> the gorgeous steam coming behind us. Let's chat a little bit yeah. about you. When you came to the US, mm -hmm. which was, was it directly from uh, Hong Kong? For school, yeah. For school. For 10 years ago. And did you come to New York? Uh, it was in New Haven. Oh, no way. Yeah, yeah Connecticut. I'm, I'm from Connecticut. Really? Yeah. So you went to Yale? I went to Yale. Amazing. And then um, ate a lot of pizza, opened yeah. a restaurant there after I graduated. There's Sally's, like Yeah, modern. Sally's, Pepe's, modern. Pepe's, modern. Yes. Which one are you? Sally's. You're Sally's. Ride okay. or die. We were a Frank Pepe family. Yeah. The only way to do Pepe's is in the summer. They have this thing called the summer pie. Oh. And it's a summer tomato pie. It's fresh tomato instead of a oh. sauce with mozzarella and all those things. Go. And you always get it small. Okay. Oh. The shape of the oven and the busyness of Pepe's means that they always have medium or large pies inside of the oven, yeah. but they can fit a small one on the side. Oh. So if you order it small, you don't have to get in line oh, to wow. go. And so you can, to use three friends, one person brings beer, one person brings bocce, and one person goes to Pepe's to pick up the small summer pie, and that's Every one of my summer afternoons. Did you say bocce? Yeah. Hey. I have a yeah. bocce kit. Yeah, I can be Worcester that friend. Park. Yeah, exactly. I don't drink, so I'll be the friend yeah, who brings perfect. the bocce. You order the pizza, and or then somebody bring beer, bring beer, or, or and whatever. Maybe something else for me. Who knows? Yeah. We should eat soon. We have to eat. Yeah. I'm actually starving. But before we do that, I just want to say one thing. Yeah. If you're enjoying this episode of The Secret Sauce with Grossi Pelosi, please like, and comment, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe. And if you want the recipe, it's just down there below us. Um, it's on food52.com as well, right? Yes. Usually for dim sum, I mean, this is all you get. You can then open it up and then just the egg yolk over the top. It's like Parmesan, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got all those reminder notes. So pretty. They're like little scallion paper clips. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Cool. So we're just going into the middle? Yeah, so the best way to do it is crack open the center okay. and reveal all that like delicious chicken mixture. Mm. First bite, you should try to find that oh, prized yeah. Chinese sausage. I you think see all, like, all of it's like starting to render out, and that's what yes. I'm talking about. Mine was poking out. Mmm. It's so much better when it's cooked. It's a hot. Mm hmm. Perfect. Mmm. Wow, oh, it's sweet. Hot, hot, hot. Oh my gosh. I see, the first thing, I, I this, the, t the way that you said that the pork gives it texture, Yeah. because really everything soaks into the rice. Yeah. So this pork is really important because it does give you a little bite. Chew, yeah. yeah. A little bit of that sinew, like the connecting part mm -hmm. between the fat and the... Because everything else is sort of melted together. It's so, unbelievable. I'm so happy about this. The flavor of the lotus leaf is really just kind of like the finishing touch for me. I'm obsessed. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming and yeah. making me make this. What a dream. Can we hug? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>